ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Can we talk about dating in the 2023? So we had this really good conversation on uh, in my Zoom meeting on Discord about dating. Because I didn't know dating had gotten this bad in this day and age. I assumed, you know, with younger people, y'all are having fun. You know, y'all won't stop talking about, you know, booty holes and pink coochies and shit. So I thought everything was all good in y'all's generation. I thought, you know, y'all was dating and having a good old funky time. Then I found out, no, not so fast. That, you know, it's really hard for a lot of y'all in y'all's 20s um to find good people you know good stock and um the dating has just gotten worse and worse so right now and I, i'm learning because you know when, when i was younger in my 20s you know well by then shit, i had you know damn near a husband i was a fiance i had kids and stuff i you know i was young when i had my children but you know i remember dating as a teenager right before <laughs> before i got pregnant <laughs> before i got pregnant by my ex-husband <laughs> um you know, and we would go out, you know, as teenagers and, you know, go to the Mall America, eat at the food court, go see a movie. I said, damn, I said, y'all bitches got city girls, you know, dating taste. Y'all want to get flued out and, you know, eat at five-star restaurants. Very interesting how this has changed. You know, first dates for us were going to the movies, getting popcorn, snacks, candy, you know, and then going to the food court and talking, getting to know each other. I remember one day I went on a date with this dude. Shout out to my homeboy, Jameson. <laughs> my friend met him on the bus. We were like 15. So she met him on the bus, but she's like, I don't, you know, I'm, nah, he's not my type. So she lied and gave him my name and number. So he called me and was like, yeah, I met you yesterday. <laughs> but I was grounded that weekend. So I was like, you didn't meet me because I've been in the house all weekend. I, I got in trouble, so I couldn't go out. So anyways, long story short, my friend gave him my number. And so he was like, well, let's meet, you know. So we ended up, we met at Macy's, right? This is what kids did back in the 90s. We met at Macy's downtown. You know how they had like the furniture laid out? <laughs> we were in downtown St. Paul at Macy's in the living room section, okay? We went and got some food from the food court and you would have thought it was our apartment. And we just sat in Macy's in the living room section. <laughs> on the couch and just chopped it up and we just had the funnest time and he was so cool like we ended up becoming like really really cool friends and we just sat in the middle of macy's and just you know ate and had fun but i guess that was the 90s you know what i'm saying i guess y'all don't do that no more you would have thought it was our apartment we were sitting there for at least two hours just eating having fun kikiing and i know they was walking past us like did y'all do y'all pay rent here <laughs> We're like 15. So I'm just like, I'm just shocked at all the rules and regulations that are going on now with dating. Yeah, we just had fun, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, in the living room section of Macy, we just sat there like it was our apartment and just chill, you know what I mean? And just talked for like several hours and he was adopted. You know, I found out about his family and he had just found his birth mom. And yeah, it was just, it, he was so cool, you know? And, um, you know, we, we end up being friends for like a few years. I haven't talked to him in years, though, but I still remember that. That was like our first little date was at just us at Macy's eating some, you know, Panda Express. You know what I mean? But y'all are some bougie motherfuckers now, honey. Oh, my gosh. I'm just shocked by these lists of, you know, of demands from people. So let's go ahead. I, okay, I'm glad some of y'all can relate, hoodie. Some of y'all can relate. Somebody said she's bringing back these good old memories. <laughs> Somebody says they're 37 and their first date was at the mall. Yes, I'm very, very surprised at just what y'all are expecting on a first date. It, it's insane to me. So there's a girl that's gone viral right now, and she's basically going with this, I think he's Middle Eastern, Indian or something like that. He's trying to take on a date to the Cheesecake Factory, and she's acting like she's above going to the Cheesecake Factory. You know, like, <laughs> Cheesecake, what is that? 
And so this is going viral all over social media and everybody's talking about this. So I see people saying, okay, this is a skit, this is fake. I don't care about it being a skit, being fake. The thing is skits like this have real world consequences. And people also need to understand that in every skit or every joke, there's truth to that. There are really women who think like this. There are really men who think like this, okay? And another thing, what I hate about videos like this that go viral, it once again puts this, it makes black women look in a bad light. Like, oh, she's a gold digger, this, this, and that. So people just dismissing it and saying, well, it's a skit. That doesn't matter. Skits have real world consequences, okay? Because now, because of that skit that came out, what, a week ago, now there's whole list being put together that's going viral. And we have celebrities like Stephen A. Smith and Little Duval talking about it. And they're, they're called places that you cannot take women on a first date. A young uh, lady started this list. Let me pull this up here. And it's going viral. So again, this is what happens with these skits. They end up having real world consequences. So let me show y'all this first real quick. So this is Stephen A. Smith. He posted this today. He says, well, damn, where can we go, ladies? What is an acceptable first date? Going through some of your answers on the Stephen A. Smith show. So this is what this girl wrote. A group of ladies made a list of places men shouldn't take them on a first date. Then Little Duval also weighed in. Little Duval says, they told me to take this off my story and post on my page. I'm headed to the Waffle House who's coming. Your whole outfit is from Sheen, but Cheesecake Factory is where y'all draw the line. So this is a list here, right? It says, here's a list of places women absolutely refuse to go to on a first date. Thank you to all the ladies who reached out to me to help me make a list. So we're going to go over this list, okay? First on the list is Cheesecake Factory. Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle, Olive Garden, The Movies, Your House, Any Fast Food Chain, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wingstop, Red Lobster, A Buffet, IHOP, Denny's, The Gym, Church, Starbucks, Coffee Dates, Ice Cream Dates, Family Functions, Movie Nights, Somewhere That Requires a Long Drive, Bowling, Nightclubs, Hookah Bars, A Bar Just, just for Drinks, Waffle House, Sports Events. First of all, I'm going to need women in this day and age to get it the fuck together. Like, it just, it does not make any sense. I feel like social media has literally ruined relationships. It's ruined dating. And like I said, we've had conversations about this. Even like me and my oldest son, you know, he's, he's grown. And we've had conversations about dating and stuff like that. And the expectations that some of y'all have for other people blows my mind. Like, um, you know, we were talking and he was telling me how, you know, this girl wanted to go to Fogo de Chao on the first date. Fogo de Chao. Y'all know damn well, you know, per person, that's like a $100 meal right there. Okay? My child is 22 years old, believe it or not. And I'm not saying that he can't afford a Fogo de Chao, but for a first date? I'm like, I thought first date was like, you know, Applebee's. Chinese restaurant, Olive Garden, you know, where the meal is between, you know, 25 to 50 bucks, especially when you're in your 20s. I can see, you know, if you're a little bit older, but like in your 20s. And so my first thing is, well, can she even afford to take herself to Fogo de Child? And the answer was no. And that's the thing I don't understand is that y'all want to put expectations on others that you don't even have for yourself. So you can't afford to even take yourself to Fogo de Child. But somebody's supposed to take you there, pay for you and them. And then after that, she also wanted a table at the, at the club. You know, tables at the clubs are like $500, you know, for bottle service and all that. You know, I don't drink, but I've gotten several tables for my tea sippers. You know, y'all done got drunk as a skunk while I sat there and sipped on my water. But, you know, I love my tea sippers. So I'm going to get y'all tables and shit. We're going to party. You know what I mean? And them damn tables weren't cheap. All of this on the first date. You don't even know if you're going to get some. 
<laughs> just saying. So it's just, I, I just, I don't understand it. And I feel like, you know, like, like me and him talked, I said, I feel like a lot of girls have like this city girl mentality. And I've been saying this for years. This whole flute out culture and, you know, buy, you know, fucking for a bag and all this stuff. A lot of young men and women are living vicariously through the Internet. They feel like if they trick off or spend money that they deserve sex. Well, that's not how sex works. If you decide to trick off, that's on you. You don't automatically get asked because you decide to trick off. But in the same breath, you know, young ladies who are expecting you know, to be showered with all of this and the person just met you. What happened to courting? That is the point of a date. You're getting to know that person. I'm not about to spend a whole bunch of money that I, on somebody that I'm just getting to know. That doesn't make any sense. And especially if you're out here dating multiple people, you're going on a date several times a week. That's a lot of money for somebody to spend. That's why a lot of people like to, you know, well, let's go get coffee or let's go to a juice bar. Let's go go to brunch, you know? Because people can afford to spend 20 to 50 bucks, you know what I mean, a few times a week to go out with different people to see if they're vibing, if they got something in common. Who the hell is by, just on average, right? Because again, people keep comparing themselves to celebrities. I'm talking about the average man and woman, the average young person in their 20s. I'm not talking about, you know what I'm saying, your favorite rapper who, yeah, if he goes and tricks off at Fogo Day Child, that's like him dropping a dollar. But for your average college student, y'all don't have $100, $200 to spend at a meal. I was at Morehouse yesterday. The line was around the corner of college students getting free food. My homegirl, Ebony, shout out to Ebony from Nouveau. That is my homegirl. A, a lot of my tea sippers, y'all met her. That's where we did the party. Not last year, but the year before. When we were outside and Mama D was there, that was at Ebony's restaurant. So Ebony gives back to the community down here all the time in ATL. And so she was giving out free food to the college students yesterday. And the line was wrapped around the corner of college students getting milk and juice and cereal and, you know, bread. I mean, she had groceries. I met a few of my tea sippers in line. So when I tell you it was wrapped around the building of college students getting free food. So what makes you think somebody in college can afford a $200 dinner? You know, we have to start being realistic and we have to start having realistic expectations of people. Again, if you're not, if you don't have the funds for your own self to get flued out, if you can't afford your own Louis Vuitton bag, red bottoms, then how dare you put that expectation on somebody, especially somebody that you just met? Yes, a lot of these people, I don't want to sound like the young people, y'all keep writing Delulu, just write delusion. I hate when I see that. Such and such is the Lulu. I said, y'all just butcher everything, young people. But yeah, in, in my young person voice, a lot of y'all bitches is the Lulu, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with Cheesecake Factory. Hell, ain't nothing wrong with Applebee's as quiet as it's kept, okay? I just, it's just kind of sad. And what the hell is wrong with going to a sports game? I love going to dates to the Minnesota Wilds game. You know, I went on a date to the Wilds game with this white boy. We had a good old funky time. He had floor seats and shit. Had on my little Wilds jersey. Oh, yeah. I was probably one of only four black people in the damn Wilds game, but I had a good time. Nothing wrong with going to the, you know, to, a, uh, to the sports event on the first date. Had a good time with him. I did. <laughs> I'm like, not the sports games being on the list. Y'all are some bougie bitches. I love a good Vikings game. I love a good Timberwolves game. That is, especially if you're into sports, that is so fun. Going to like sports games. You know the food be high as hell. You know the slice of pizza be like $7. The water be like $7. The beers be like $20. But we have fun. I'm just sitting here like, well, like this list is insane to me. Starbucks. Now, I'm not no big Starbucks person, but I see people in Starbucks all the time. You know, getting little coffees and stuff. The gym, well, I'm not going to nobody's gym on a date. I guess if you're, if you're a gym rat, if you work out a lot, that might be cute, but I'm no, we're not, we're gonna do lift weights. I agree, gym shouldn't be on there. Church, you're supposed to be in church praising the Lord. You're not supposed to be in church looking for dick, okay? You need to be focused on God while you're in church, not no peen. 
So yeah, I'm not doing no first date at nobody's church. I agree with that one. Uh, the movies. What is wrong with the movies? That's fun. Remember when, like, guys would yawn and shit? <laughs> and then they stretch their arm out and put their arm over you and shit? They don't do that no more? I love a good movie date. <laughs> generation is off the chain you know how many damn movies i done seen with a date so y'all are too good to go to the movies now in 2023 who is y'all's parents child i said not the movies being on the list oh my goodness i love going to a good like you know if you go see like a little horror movie with a guy and you're screaming and shit he puts his arm around you to protect you in the theater oh my gosh okay what else is on this list um, ice cream dates. What is wrong with ice cream dates? Col what was that? Uh, Cone Stoke Brewery. They got some good ice cream. You get to watch them chop the ice cream up in front of you and shit. You pick different flavors. Add nuts and sprinkles. That's cute. That's a cute little first date. Oh, y'all are bougie. Let me see. What else is on this? Family functions. Now, I kind of agree with that. Not for a first date. I don't like when, like, when I, even when I do stuff in my house, people just want to bring random girls to my house. I'm like, who is this? Where's the last girl that came to my house? Oh, we're not together no more. And I'm talking, we're not going to call you out. Like, every time a friend comes by the house, they got a different girl. I don't want a bunch of different girls coming to my house. I don't want them to know what the hell my house. I don't know this girl. So I agree with that. Don't bring random people to family functions. When I have barbecues and stuff, I'm inviting you. And somebody you've been with for at least two, three months. Every time I have a barbecue, I don't want to see a different girl. Because then I got to be fake. Like, oh, hey, nice to meet you. And I'm thinking, well, damn, what happened to the last girl? I liked her. Me and her had a good conversation. You replaced her already? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, family functions, no. Um, bowling. What is wrong with bowling? You know how fun bowling is? Now, I ain't the best bowler. But I done been on a, a few, you know, bowling dates. Had a good old funky time. Good food. Pizzas, french fries, and it lasts like a good three, four hours go with a group of people. Bowling is fun. Y'all are some bougie ass people. They got bowling on the list. Ain't nothing wrong with bowling. And then it's cute because if you don't know how to bowl, then you know that's a chance for like the dudes that you're with to like, you know, floss. Like, oh, look, look, strike. And then the guy that y'all boosted like, yeah, I did that. <laughs> bowling is so fun to me. I like bowling. Oh, y'all are bougie. Especially if it's like a group date. You know what I'm saying? It's like multiple people on a date. That is so fun. I love a good bowl, honey. Let's see what else is on this list. Nightclubs. Nightclubs are cute. But, um, I mean, yeah, there's nothing wrong with like going to a nightclub on the you know, first date. I think that can be cute. But I think it should be more like a lounge. Because the only thing with nightclubs, it can be too loud. If it's like a really, really loud nightclub or if it's like a ratchet nightclub, you might not have as much fun. But if it's like more like a lounge or where like you guys can still talk, that's cool. But my thing is this, y'all know me, honey. I like to dance. I'm not one of the people, I don't hold up the wall, okay? These old knees still work, okay? So when I go to the club and, and I, if I'm on a date and we're at the nightclub, you better not be on your phone. You better not be holding up the wall. I like to dance. I like to have fun. So if I'm on a date in the club, I'm going to be dancing. So if you just want to sit there and be on your fucking phone, you got to go. So don't bring me to no nightclub and you just sit there holding up walls with your arms crossed. And then I'm doing all the work and you just like, no, we got to dance together, okay? So, yes. I, I like a good nightclub. I like a good lounge. Those are fun spots to go on dates. You know what I'm saying? So there's nothing wrong as long as it's not like a, like a ratchet, you know what I'm saying, nightclub. I don't see nothing wrong with it. I just don't like when people go to the club and all they're doing is just taking selfies and just sitting there. Why are you here? Why are you here? Even at 21 Savages party, half the people are just walking around, just sitting there, just like... I just feel like cell phones have ruined so much stuff. People don't know how to live in the moment. Like, we was having fun, honey. Every time a song came on, we was dancing, we was kicking it. We was having a good old funky time. I don't understand how you're in an environment. There's music playing, there's lights, there's beautiful people. You're looking good, I'm looking good, and you just want to sit there and text. 
or be on your phone or be on Instagram. That is weird to me, okay? Uh, let's see, what else, what else? They got on this list. Any fast food chain. I think it depends. Um, me personally at my big age, I'm not going to McDonald's on a date because I don't even eat McDonald's like that. I'm, it's rare that I go to McDonald's and if I do, it's the only thing I get is french fries. So I'm not going to McDonald's on a date. But you know, something like Chipotle, because I do eat Chipotle when I can, I, mean, I wouldn't mind going there, you know, if you're just getting to know somebody. But I also think too, you gotta also remember the age, right? I'm older. So for me, I'm not going to a fast food chain on a date. I'm going to go to a restaurant, a sit down restaurant. I don't expect to go to Fogo de Chow. I don't expect to go somewhere where, you know, the plates are $500 a pop. I'm, we don't gotta do all that. But there's nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. The Cheesecake Factory to me is really, really good. I get the same thing every time, which is the Caribbean meal. So I like the Cheesecake Factory. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us in tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.